Do you develop your glue jobs in the AWS console? Well, if you do, you may be missing out on some key benefits that can make you a more effective data engineer. In this video, we're going to explore some key aspects of AWS Glue development that can significantly enhance your workflow and save you both time and money. We'll be discussing the advantages of developing your AWS Glue jobs locally before deploying your Glue jobs to the cloud. If you're a data engineer, developer, or anyone else working with AWS Glue, you'll know that the process of building and testing ETL jobs can be complex and resource intensive. However, there is a solution that offers more control, faster feedback, and greater flexibility in your development process, developing your AWS Glue jobs locally. In this video, we'll deep dive into the numerous benefits of local AWS Glue job development. Whether you're a seasoned AWS user or just getting started, understanding these advantages can make a significant difference in your development journey. So whether you're looking to optimize your AWS Glue workflow, improve efficiency, or simply want to learn about the best ETL practices, stick around because we got some valuable insights coming your way. Let's get started. So the AWS Glue console makes it incredibly easy to jump in and to start writing code for your ETL workflows. Within a few clicks, I can start developing my glue jobs and run them. However, when your glue jobs become more complex and you need to start testing your code more frequently or need to collaborate with multiple data engineers for your scripts, this becomes less than ideal. So the question is, how can we develop locally? By leveraging an ID like PyCharm or VS Code, we can develop our glue jobs locally just as a software developer would. There are three supported ways of authoring your glue jobs locally with your favored IDE. The first one is leveraging the official supported Docker containers for various versions of AWS Glue. When we execute our code, we can run it in a local Docker container. This results in no AWS Glue DPU cost because the Docker container is running locally. I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to configure this, which I'll include in the link in the description below. The second is using interactive glue sessions locally. When we spin up an interactive glue session, this starts a Spark cluster on AWS that is dedicated to us, but we can write our own code locally in Jupyter Notebooks. I also have a guide on how to configure this on your local machine, which I'll include in the link below as well. And the third method is using the Glue Studio ETL library. So using this method, we would install the Glue library and Spark on our local machine directly. All right, so what are the key benefits of developing our Glue jobs locally? So the first is cost savings. So running AWS Glue jobs on the cloud incur costs based on compute resources and execution time. Developing locally allows you to avoid these costs during the development and testing phase, helping you to manage your AWS bill. I want to point out you don't get this specific benefit if you're using AWS Glue interactive sessions since it spins up a cluster on AWS, but you would using the Docker container method or using the Glue Studio ETL library directly locally. So the second is faster development. Local development typically offers faster feedback loops. You can quickly iterate and test your ETL code without waiting for AWS Glue job executions in the cloud. This can significantly speed up development process, especially when you're developing PySpark jobs, because it always takes extra time to initiate the cluster when you start your Glue job. The next is isolation. Local development provides an isolated environment where you can work on your AWS Glue scripts without affecting production data or resources. This minimizes the risk of accidental data corruption or service disruptions. Offline development. Working locally doesn't require a constant internet connection. This can be particularly useful in situations where you have limited or unreliable internet access, allowing you to work offline. The next is unit testing, and I can't stress this one enough. If we write our PySpark code in classes or functions, we can write unit tests locally to make sure our code is working as expected. Configuring our AWS Glue project locally will make it way easier to properly unit test our code, which brings an array of benefits. Version control. So you can easily integrate your AWS Glue job code with version control systems like Git when working locally. This enables you to track changes, collaborate with teammates, and maintain a history of your code revisions. Custom environments. Local development allows you to set up and configure your development environment according to your specific needs. You can install custom libraries, tools, and dependencies, making it easier to replicate your AWS Glue job environment on your local machine. Debugging. Debugging AWS Glue jobs locally can be more straightforward and efficient. You can use local debugging tools and IDs to step through your code, inspect variables, and identify and fix issues before they're deployed to the cloud. Flexibility. 
Local development gives you flexibility to experiment with different data processing logics, configurations, and parameters without impacting production resources or need to create multiple AWS glue job executions for testing. You know, sometimes you might develop a glue job, deploy it on the cloud, and now it's running. But if you make a change while that's running, you could result in errors. So by allowing us to develop locally, we can safely make these changes without impacting the service in the cloud. Documentation. Developing locally encourages the documentation of setup and development steps, making it easier for other team members to understand and contribute to the AWS Glue job development process. And finally, backup and recovery. You can easily backup your local development environment, including code, configuration, and test data. This helps in disaster recovery scenarios and ensure you don't lose critical work. This is where you can leverage a Git repository like GitHub, AWS Code Commit, Bitbucket to safely and securely store our code. All right, so in summary, developing glue jobs locally provides a controlled, cost-effective, and efficient way to build and test ETL processes before deploying them to the AWS Glue service. It offers a wide range of advantages, including cost savings, faster development, isolation, and greater flexibility in configuring your development environment. However, it's essential to ensure that your local development environment closely mirrors the production AWS Glue environment to minimize potential issues during deployment. So I hope this video was helpful and I maybe convinced you to start developing your glue jobs locally. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more videos on working with data on AWS. Thanks again and see you next time.